All right, everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Now, as every day passes in this transfer window, it looks increasingly likely that Paul Pogba's future lies elsewhere other than Old Trafford, what with his comments earlier in the summer about wanting a new challenge and the latest comments from his little rancid golfer of an agent, Mino Raiola, last week. And whether Paul Pogba stays or goes, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, that's up for you guys to decide on your own. I'm not going to get into that. That's a whole can of worms that I'm not even going to touch. But what is undeniable is Paul Pogba's influence on this United side. Even last season when United were absolutely terrible for large parts, Paul Pogba still had a very, very respectable output last season with 16 goals and 11 assists, more than any output from a creative standpoint from any midfielder in the Premier League, even though United were terrible for large parts of last season. But it's not just the stats, it's, all, it's also his all-round influence that he brings to this United side and how and how this United side plays with him in it and the, the attributes that he adds to this United side and how it makes this United side tick. And I've tried to break that down into three key areas. Transition, so getting the ball from back to front and getting United on the front foot quickly after defending. Also creativity, goals, chipping in with assists, uh, big chances created, key passes, and also the ball retrieval. So that's duels won, interceptions, tackles made. And these are three key areas that I think Paul Pogba adds to this United side. And if we are going to bring somebody in to fill the boots of Paul Pogba, we need to be bringing somebody in who can add to those areas and not take them away. So here are my five players that I think United should be looking at to replace Paul Pogba. And the first player we're going to look at is Ibrahim Sangare, the 21-year-old French combative, elegant central midfielder for Toulouse, who had a really good season last time out in Ligue 1. Even though the French side were battling against relegation for large parts of the season, Sangare still was head and shoulders above the rest of the players in that Toulouse side. And his, and his skills really shone through. Even at 21 years of age, he was putting in some absolutely exceptional mature performances in that combative central midfield area. A more, bit more of a defensive minded player than Paul Pogba, uh, completing double the amount of interceptions that Paul Pogba made last time out at 1.06 per 90 minutes. Also making more duels and winning more duels 8.39 per 90 minutes as well. Also decent with the ball at his feet. Uh, with more dribbles completed than Paul Pogba as well, with 1.82 per 90, and just just completing slightly less accurate long passes with 4.01, with Paul Pogba completing 4.94. Obviously, as a bit more of a defensive-minded player, in a more defensive side, his creative stats aren't quite up to the level that Paul Pogba's are, but maybe if... He's in a better side that's looking to attack a little bit more and looking to counter-attack a little bit more, which is, an, which is a style I think he would really flourish in. I think we could see a little bit more output in those creative stats for Sangare. And like I said, 21 years of age, he's got a lot of years ahead of him and he should be relatively cheap. And I think United can pick him up for around about 35 million. So he could be a decent little option if we're looking at replacing Paul Pogba. And the second player we're going to look at is Sergei Milinkovic-Savic, one of the longest names in football. And it's a player that's cropped up on United's wanted list for a couple of years now as well. Now, for Lazio, he's been pretty underwhelming this season, as has the entire Lazio side, if I'm being honest, having to settle for mid-table obscurity in Syria. But even though, he's, even though he's had a poor season by his own decent standards, his stats are still very, very decent when you actually look at them. Uh, more of an all-round midfielder, and you could say he's the more obvious replacement for, with, for Paul Pogba, given his stature and his size and his attributes that we're going to get into right now. Uh, as far as his creativity, because that's one of the main areas that Pogba offers to this United side, he made more key passes, Milinkovic-Savic, than Paul Pogba did, with 1.8 per 90 minutes. Also, made sl had slightly less shots, with 2.13 per 90, but obviously that could have something to do with being in a little bit more of a defensive side and having to play a little bit further and a little bit deeper back than Paul Pogba does for United. Also, as far as retaining the ball, he made one more duels than Paul Pogba, winning 8.23 per 90 minutes and also made more interceptions as well, with 1.01 .01 per 90 minutes as well. 
also exceptional on the ball as well. Uh, one of the areas that he's likened to Paul Pogba more than many central midfielders. Uh, created, uh, completed a third less dribbles with 1.27 and was less accurate with his long range passes, only completing 3.03. But again, that could have something to do with the fact that he's in a, a poorer team, if you can believe that Lazio are poorer than United, but also having it, playing in a more defensive sort of system at Lazio than he would at United, where I think he would be given a lot more free reign to get forward and get further up the pitch. Potentially a like-for-like -like replacement, because I could see him slotting into that left-hand side of United's midfield and us it being very, very similar to having Paul Pogba in the side. Although, what I will say is that Milinkovic Savic doesn't lose the ball anywhere near the amount of times that Paul Pogba does, which is one of his main criticisms. So, Milinkovic Savic is probably, like I say, the most obvious replacement for Paul Pogba, but he is also probably going to be the most expensive as well. And number three is Thomas Partey of Atletico Madrid, who had an excellent season with the Spanish side last time around, helping them finish second in La Liga, just behind Barcelona. He's another combative, physical central midfielder with excellent technical ability to go with his physical prowess as well. And that kind of mirrors itself in the stats that he managed to get last time around, making four times as many interceptions as Paul Pogba, averaging 2.14 per 90 minutes, also winning the same amount of duels as Paul Pogba per 90 minutes, 7.06, and also dispossessed four times less than Paul Pogba, who, again, like I say, that's one of the main criticisms I have of Paul Pogba. Now, going forward, as far as the transitional stats, he's got, he made slightly less dribbles than Paul Pogba, uh, averaging 1.57 per 90 minutes, and he also completed slightly less accurate long passes per 90 minutes with 3.18. Uh, but, even though he only completed 3.18 long passes, he has a very similar similar percentage of completion as Paul Pogba because he made less passes overall in a more defensive Atletico Madrid side. Creativity, he doesn't really get forward into those final third areas for Atletico Madrid, but he still managed to produce 0 0.89 key passes per 90 minutes and also averaged a decent 1.35 shots per 90 minutes as well. Like I say, main reason for that is de he's deployed more as a central defensive midfielder or even a box-to-box -box midfielder than an attacking free role like Pogba has currently at United. And under Diego Simeone, it's not really the most flexible of sides. If he was to come to United, I think he'd flourish with a little bit more flexibility to his role as well. He can also play in several positions, central defensive midfield, central midfield, and can also do a job at right back and we all know United's problems at right back over the last couple of seasons and to top that he's got a release clause of around about 50 million euros which is around about 45 million pounds which makes him very good value for money in this market when prices are going through the roof and looking at a more attacking option we have Bruno Fernandes we all know the name United have been linked to him for about the last two months or so and it's no surprise given his fantastic season four spot in Lisbon last time out managing 30 goals and 17 assists in all competitions for the Portuguese side he's current, been currently linked with a vast array of European giants given his exceptional season last time out he's more of an attacking outlet like I say and that mirrors itself in his more creative aspects of his game where he managed more shots per 90 minutes than Paul Pogba, averaging 3.03. Also made two times as many key passes per 90 minutes than Paul Pogba, averaging 3.21 key passes per 90 minutes. And also averages a goal every 147 minutes compared to Paul Pogba's 234 minutes. Also decent in the transition as well, getting his team on that front foot. Uh, more accurate long passes than Paul Pogba, averaging 4.34 accurate long passes per 90 minutes, although he only made half as many dribbles in that time, uh, completing 0.95 per 90 minutes, although he made less dribbles, so ha actually has a very, very similar percentage success rate on his dribbles as well. 
defensively with the retrieval of the ball, isn't really in that sort of position to do much of that. Although he did manage to complete 0.43 interceptions, which is very, very similar to what Paul Pogba made last time out. Uh, and also completed less duels with only 5.9 duels won. But again, he's played more as an attacking midfielder, almost a number 10 than Paul Pogba's box-to-box -box role that he had last time around. Like I say, he offers a lot of creativity, which is one of the areas United really lacked in last season, even with Paul Pogba. So without Paul Pogba, we definitely need somebody to come in and add to the creativity of the side and, and pick up the slack that Paul Pogba would be leading if he did leave. Uh, but one of the hindrances is, like I say, he's more influential in that final third, and that might mean United need to change formation and the style of play to accommodate Bruno Fernandes. And finally, we have got Gio Lo Celso from Real Betis, who had a really good season last time around with the Spanish outfit, helping them secure a solid 10th place finish in the Spanish league last season. Great close control with an excellent passing range and a real eye for a pass into those lines and breaking those lines in that final third. Although that being said, he's very good with transitioning his team from defence into attack, with making more successful dribbles than Paul Pogba last time around with 2.36 per 90 minutes, although he has slightly less accuracy with his long-range passing, only completing one58 Although, similar to Bruno Fernandes, he has a very similar percentage as Paul Pogba because he makes less passes overall. As far as his retrieval of the ball, similar amount of interceptions to Paul Pogba with 0.48 per 90 minutes for Lo Celso. And he actually wins more duels, even though he's far less of a physical presence. He actually wins more duels on the, gr on the ground, on the deck. Uh, winning 7.43 of his duels per 90 minutes, and three quarters of which are ground duels. Uh, his creativity doesn't really get into those positions, or didn't last time around, for a side that doesn't really possess the quality that I think would really, really bring Lo Celso on. He, he had less shots than Paul Pogba, 1.65 per 90 minutes, and made less key passes, 1.13. But again made similar amounts of big chances than Paul Pogba. Even though he didn't have the ball and didn't have the luxury of the of the players that Paul Pogba had, he still managed to create a similar amount of big chances per 90 minutes, with seven created through the entire season. And he su really suits a high-pressing sort of system, what with his transition and, and the, the duels that he wins and the interceptions that he wins and the dribbling as well. Really... Really, would really suit being high up the pitch and getting in the face of the opposition, which I think could, is one of the ways that I think United could set up next season, what with Solskjaer at the helm. Uh, but also, he is so he is very, very in demand at the minute, Lo Celso, what with Tottenham sniffing around him and a couple of other clubs as well. So if we do want to bring Lo Celso in, we do have to act pretty sharpish. So those are my five options for players that I think could come in and replace what Paul Pogba brings to this United side. It may even need to be two of these players uh, because I don't know if there's any like-for-like -like replacement in the list or uh, in the world football that can bring exactly what Paul Pogba at his best can bring to this United side. Let me know in the comments section which out of the five you think United should be looking at or maybe two out of the five that United should be looking at to bring in to replace Paul Pogba. Uh, but have you, if you've enjoyed this, drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button. I'll be back with more content throughout the week, so keep it locked to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.